DC's last four wins have been by stoppage over Derek Lewis, Stipe Vulcan, and Anthony Johnson. He has five submissions on his record, all of them by rear naked choke, two of them versus Anthony Johnson. Five of Johnson's six losses were by rear naked choke. Stipe looks to become the fourth fighter to regain a USC heavyweight title. Kane Velasquez did it, Tim Sylvia did it, and Randy Couture did it. The guy next in line for a title shot should be Francis Ngannou. There's a chance DC could retire regardless of the outcome of this match. But if he wins and retires, there could be a vacant title. So there's an outside chance that Stipe could lose this fight and still possibly rematch Ngannou for a vacant title. USC 241 will take place three days short of three years since Nate Diaz last fought. Since that date, Pettis has fought seven times in three different weight classes. Currently, Anthony Pettis is ranked in two weight classes. He's ranked higher at welterweight than he is at lightweight. He's ranked number eight at welterweight and number nine at lightweight. Pettis has fought two fights at welterweight, one in 2008, which was a TKO, and another earlier this year versus Wonderboy, which was also a KO. USC 241 has a couple undefeated fighters on the card in Manny Bermudez, who's 14-0, and Paulo Costa, who puts his 12-0 record on the line against Yoel Romero. None of Paulo's matches have gone the distance, 12 bouts, 12 finishes, 11 by KO, and 1 by sub. This is a massive opportunity for Costa. A victory over Romero would have him beating the highest ranked middleweight just behind the interim and official champions in the division. So a win over Romero could earn him a title shot in early 2020.